Hi, my name is Andy Roberts. I'm the creator of Live Parts, and in this video, I'm going to show you some of the user interface uh, layout and control inside the Live Parts application. The first thing you do in Live Parts is you open up a model by either importing it or opening it if you've already imported it. We have the file menu here, which provides access to these commands. So I mentioned import. Import brings the model down from your uh, from the the transfer location where they're placed when you export from SolidWorks. And the file menu basically gives the ability to, um, to save and restore these, save and open them, um, as well as export them in either STL or the live parts format. So that's the file menu. Now the, I'm going to go ahead and start this. You'll see here that I have a number of different windows. Um, the first one is basic controls, lets me start, pause, reset, and smooth the model. And you can see it's growing here as we just started growing it. Um, what you'll see under the view menu is that you have access to a number of windows that you can turn on and off. So stats are over here on the right. Um, you know, if you turn that on and off, you can see it come and go. Um, the basic controls have the, the commands for starting and stopping the growth processes. Um, features and advanced controls you can see here. Features are the things that you are looking at on the screen. So for instance, I can turn off the container and you'll see it goes away. Turn off the repeller and you see it goes away. The advanced controls allow you to specify the, um, the behavior of your forces, for example. So I can change the forces. I can increase the values, the magnitude and direction values here if I want. Cell properties let you specify the properties of the cells, for example, the size of the cells, the growth rate of the organism, the strain threshold. So here it's between uh, 300 and 480, which means between 0.3% and 0.48% of strain. Um, so that takes care of the view menu. Examples is a set of predefined models that you can open up and play around with and see different um, types of good practice. The window menu has just one item under it now. It lets you switch from a light, light theme to a dark theme. Um, and of course, the help is pretty self-evident. It gives you comprehensive help over here in its own window. So that's an overview of the Live Parts user interface. Um, if you want to look at more detail on uh, how to use Live Parts, uh, take a look at some of the additional videos that we have. Thanks.